As you can see on the screen, I earned around $2,100 profit on Binance Futures with just one single trade. And in this video, I will show you what is Binance Hedge Mode, what are the benefits and how you can use it. I will show you also real life examples of opening and closing trades using Binance Hedge Mode. So even your 98 year old grandmother who has never even heard about trading will be able to use it on Binance. But the first thing when you want to start using this hedge mode on Binance and making money using any method is to create the 100% free account. And I will leave you a link in the description where you can get the $600 Binance bonus when you use the link right here or in the pinned comment. You will land on Binance registration page with my face, my name and also with your 600 USDT bonus. You can sign up right here or click here join now. You will then create your free Binance account using your email address, phone number, Google account to Apple ID and then you will be inside Binance for 100% free. Once you are inside Binance and you want to redeem your welcome bonuses you can do it easily here on the rewards hub and you can find the heads mode here on the derivative sections. Let's open here for example USDM futures. I'm going to show you examples of this Binance heads mode here on the USDM futures because I have here on coin and futures this one trade with more than $2,000 worth of profits. The easiest way to understand this head mode is to first understand what is a one-way mode. Let me show you a one-way mode. It says it only supports holding a position in one direction. Let me give you a simple example. Here I have now some USDT available, around 68 USDT. So let's open a long trade right here. Let's click right here and you can see margin is around 11 USDT. You can see it right here. It's a long trade. So I'm expecting the price of Bitcoin to go higher. Now if I'm using the one-way mode and I try to open a short position, I'm not able to do it because let me show you what happens. Uh, if I scroll this one right here, I click here sell short. It doesn't open open the short position it simply reduces uh, this long position you can see it drops from around 11 USDT to 5 USDT margin and if I open my short position big enough then this long position will turn into short position let me show you an example I click here sell short and you can see right here this green turn into red and now we have a short position you can see margin is around 11 USDT and we have a short so we are expecting the price of Bitcoin to go lower so with the one-way mode you are not allowed to have short positions and long positions at the same time and now in order to move into this heads mode you must close the positions that you have available in that specific trading pair so I will close this position at the market price right here you can see it was successfully closed and then we come right here I click position mode and now we click here heads mode and you can see it was successfully adjusted and now I will be able to show how it works so let's open both I open a long position right here and you remember what happens with one way mode if we open a short position it simply reduces this one but now here when we open a short position we have now both for the same trading pair BTC USDT long position and also a short position next to its other so you have that freedom with heads mode now you might be asking but what are the benefits of using this heads mode I will show you in a moment a couple of real life examples what are the benefits but in just a few words the benefits are risk management efficiency flexibility flexibility and tax planning. I will show you real life examples in a moment but first let me show you how to use it also with other trading pairs. Now we are here on the coin and futures and let's say you happen to want to trade for example a BNB and USDT. You will click right here then it opens for you this trading view and now you can simply use it right here. You want to double check that you have it open right here heads mode because if you open a position uh, using one way mode and then you want to switch to heads mode you will need to close that current position in the trading pair in order to do that switch. But now we are on the clean slate. We come with the heads mode, BNB USD team, and we open a long position. So let me open right here. You can simply scroll this one, open long, and it normally goes here. Now we have BNB USDT long position. And now if I want to open a short position, I can simply do the same. I scroll this one a little bit and I click right here, open short, and you can see it opens a short position right here. And now when you want to close your positions, you 
you are able to close them one by one really easily. Uh, let me show you for example, let's say you want to close this BTC short position because we expect Bitcoin keeps on going higher and higher and higher. Uh, we click here market and you can see it was immediately submitted right here and it was also failed. So we removed that one. Let's say that we believe that BNB also keeps on going higher and uh, we want to remove the short position. Then we simply come right here. We click here close at market price and you can see it was successfully closed and you can see also the proof right here. If you want to close all your positions at once, for example, for USDM futures, uh, you can simply click this close all positions and uh, let me show you what happens. It closes them successfully, but it still keeps your coin and futures positions open. As you can see right here, I have this one trade open with nice profits. So let's go through now real life examples why you want to use heads mode sometimes. You know that Bitcoin is always going higher and it's gone all the way from $0.1 to $1, $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000. Now on Bitcoin is already more than $29,000 going towards hundreds of thousands, millions and tens of millions of dollars for each Bitcoin. But you notice here in the chart when Bitcoin goes to all time high numbers, it momentarily slips a little bit lower and then it again makes a new all-time high over and over again. So if you have long positions for Bitcoin and you want to cover yourself from the downside, you are able to open short positions and then you can lock in your profits during those volatile markets. Let's say for example that I have this trade here open with $2,100 profits and now there would be some news coming up. For example, new inflation numbers or CPA announcement or something like that. And I would to lock in my profits with this trade. I would simply open a similar short trade so you can see this trade is around 3x leverage and you can see the margin right here so if I would want to lock in my profits I would open a 3x short position uh, with the same leverage so then for example if Bitcoin price would go lower and let's say with this position I would lose $100 with the short position I would win $100 if Bitcoin would keep on going higher this one would go up again let's say $1,000 then with my short position I would lose $1,000 so I would still be at zero. I would lock in my profits, whatever I have there. Second scenario may be that you know these big price differences uh, between different exchanges. Uh, usually BTC USD trading pair doesn't have big differences because it's very liquid. Uh, but just to give you an example, there is always slight difference. Let's say here we have 29,037. Here we have, for example, 29,030. Eight, as you can see here. So there is always a slight difference. Let's say you would see a bigger difference, then you might explode those arbitrage opportunities and you long and short on different exchanges and then you make the profits from the difference. You notice here that I also like to make profits with other exchanges on Bybit. I have one trade open with around $9,400 profits and also on BitGet I have one trade open with around $3,200 worth of profits. And then of course the third scenario may be tax planning. Let's say that you have one trade open with for example $10,000 worth of profits and now if you would sell it and let's say in your country when you sell futures trade you would need to pay taxes. Now you don't need to sell it but you can still keep the profits simply by taking that short position at the same time. Then you are locking in that profits both long trade and short trade at the same position and then you move yourself for example to favorable tax location and then you sell your trade when you don't need to pay taxes again right? If you like that I show all of these examples for you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my channel with all of your friends who also like to receive money online so your friends can make money as well. There are three typical mistakes when it comes not only to hedge mode but for futures trading in general. And the first one is of course over leveraging. You notice here that I use quite conservative leverage with futures trading. Here we have 5x, here we have also 5x and here on this trade I have 3x. 5x is the maximum that I personally use. Uh, for my own futures trades because these are anyways quite volatile assets. But beginners, they come right here and they start using all kinds of crazy leverage like 125x, 100x, 50x, 25x. And guess what happens if you open a position and hold it open for a long term? You are going to lose everything really, really fast. That's why I recommend maximum 5x leverage if you trade with your own money. If you receive bonus money, for example, through my links, then you can take a little bit bigger, let's say 10x leverage, but don't go for crazy 50x or 100x unless you just want a coin flip. 
Then the second mistake that I see, especially beginners making, is that they don't apply any risk management. Let's say that the beginner has, for example, $1,000 in their portfolio in Bitcoin. They put all of that into futures trading and that's why they lose so fast. I recommend that put maximum 5% of your portfolio in the futures trading. So if you have $1,000 in Bitcoin, maximum $50 for futures trading and the rest $950 you hold in your own Bitcoin wallet. And the third is usual as well, which is impulse trading. So beginners, they say, oh, I made $2,100 profits. Then they click here, market, they close it immediately. Then they try to make another, then they do another. They don't think about it. They don't have a strategy. They simply do it with impulses. And that's a surefire way to lose money. Now, if you want to make money on Binance in the same way like I am doing, for example, here, more than $2,000 with one trade. Here, with Binance trading bots, I earned more than $147 with another bot, $2,700 or automatically and how you can make money on Binance even for free copy pasting links I invite you immediately come to my playlist earn money on Binance and here you will see many many different ways how you will be making money on Binance so simply take your finger click right here and learn to make money immediately